So, I have been gone quite a while. And the reason for that is that towards the end, well, I was already, like, battling it before, but, like, towards the 16th of October is when it really hit. On the 15th, I was like, nah, we not doing nothing today. Like, it, it was, it, it, I, I have a cold. I had a, had a really bad cold. And it was actually just a cold. And I had, it was like a really bad fever. And I could not bring myself to do work on top of, like, the outside, like, outside of artwork stuff that I have to do in a day. I couldn't manage both of them while I was feeling crappy. So, for that reason, I am going to finish Cheektober, but the remainder of the videos will be done digitally because it's much faster to do it digitally than it is to do it traditionally. And when I do it traditionally, I don't, I have the added difficulty of having to deal with the files from the video camera. So, yeah. And also, if I do it digitally, I could just cut out bits of, like, noise and stuff like that. With that being said, if you do hear any noise, that is coming from my window. So, hello everybody and as well welcome. In today's video, we are continuing on our journey through Cheektober. And today's prompt is, I believe, is homemade cake. So let me check. Yes, it is homemade cake. I have an idea already in my head, and I want to use the colors from Cheektober Day 12. I want to use the colors that I used in that. Something interesting happens with uh, this new tablet in that the saturation on this tablet is exactly like the saturation on my phone when I post pictures on Instagram. So I don't have to re-edit pictures to look like what they seem like on my laptop anymore because since I draw on this digital tablet, it just automatically looks the way that I've envisioned it on the phone so I don't have to do that anymore which is awesome and then it was like pink it's a little redder I think that was the color palette so let's hit that and I, I'd leave my palette on a lower level layer because things all right so while we're here let me tell you how I do my sketches digitally now anyways hit acrylic I start at 120 slowly because I do it at least three three at least three sketchers I go from 120 to 50 to 20 and um if i'm doing like a portrait photo then i'll hit it hit six i don't know why six is such a magical number for line work but it is so let's do it all right it said homemade cake so what i'm thinking is a two-layer cake fun fact not so fun fact. Um, the first cake I ever did was a box funfetti cake. And I thought the cake turned out tragic. <laughs> but the cake turned out really well because the very next day it was gone because it had been eaten. <laughs> so that's fun. Two layers. My funfetti cake. Oh, you know what would be cute? You know what would be so cute? If I did the funfetti cake. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to do this two layer mess. And let me tell you. This is. This is. 
it's gonna look weird because I'm I'm drawing a rectangle, but this this was how it was done. This was my fun fetty cake. It was done in a pan like this. You hear the birdies in the wind? Y'all just chilling with me today. Oh, that's cute. Hit it at 50. There's a lip. Hold on. Because I know how the... It's, it's the aluminum pans. It's, if, if you know what I'm talking about. There, it's like aluminum pans that you get from the grocery store and then the, the right at the corners there are like crinkles and like folds and junk and then this is like all crinkly but like right at the corners is where it's the most crinkly. But that was, that was what I did. I made a fun Fetty homemade cake. And I made the icing, by the way. So, like, I made homemade icing. I didn't, I didn't use a box mix for the icing. But I made homemade icing. And... I could not talk and draw at the same time. Uh, I made homemade icing. And the fun... This is a sketch that Anna made, so it doesn't have to be perfect. So it's like that. It's... I like that I decided to do this because now I don't have to make it all perfect. And then it has the little folds. And this, the corners are curved, so the folds are like more like that in the aluminum. I was just listening to Earth, Wind, and Fire, and also like anime music. So like I was, I'm, I'm in very high spirits. <laughs> I got to do some of my favorite things today. Which is listen and sing very loudly and dance around my room. Alright. I think I might actually just leave this as... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to clean up this layer. Because I've been trying something new with my lines and making them illustrative, like storybook-ish kind of looking. And I actually prefer that. Okay, let's pull out some colors for the sprinkles. Let's make them bright. Okay, there were red sprinkles. And yellow sprinkles. And I believe there were green sprinkles, but it was like a dark green. Like that. I think those are all the colors. Alright, so this is the line work layer. Those are my, my sprinkle colors. I'm going to make this very, very basic. So like, which means... The aluminum foil pan <laughs> needs to be gray. I'm, not, I'm just disregard the color palette that I had picked out initially. I'm taking you through the entire sketching process this time. Instead of me just telling you, oh, I think I'm gonna do this, and then I do that. Now I need colors.
make it the selection source pick underneath plot tile but this is actually not gonna be the color because this is going to be I'm gonna make it like a really 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 pale yellow like the kind of pale yellow where you can't even tell that it's yellow <laughs> oh here's another trick select if you're having a hard time selecting in a certain area select the rounded flip the selection and boom you got you okay I like this this has turned out really cute I'm not gonna add a whole lot of color to this I, I didn't plan to but let's um Hmm, I want to make some swirls, like some icing swirls. You can't see that. There we go, that's better. But I still need a bigger brush. Icing swirls. That's cute. This is homemade if I ever saw it. Um, and then the sprinkles. And then we're gonna, this, this is, I like this, that this video ended up being so quick. Does anybody watch, um, Mariah Elizabeth? If, if you watch Mariah Elizabeth, you know why I bring her up while I'm adding sprinkles. <laughs> but yeah, that that is exactly what these sprinkles just reminded me of. I really like her video. Videos. Like if I could aspire to be like a YouTuber... It would be similar to her in that she just does what she likes to do, which is make squishies and then finds a way to, not to, not finds a way to make money off of it as in like, that's what I'm looking for, but she finds a way to make money off of it so that she can make a living off of what she loves to do without it being like stressful, like commissions cause my goodness no thank you I've done commissions in the past but I don't see myself ever you know not ever doing it again but like not anytime soon I think I'm gonna do purple as the shade That just looks like spray paint. Actually, that's a little better. Select this area and just get one of those. Oh, 
don't know. I don't like that. Alright. Maybe the purple wasn't the right color for this. Let's swatch it. Actually, let's do blue, but let's bring down the saturation. Cute! And I know this isn't like, oh my god, one of my like full blown illustrations because as I've explained before, we I shall be doing this. Um, okay, I need to add these all to a folder. <coughs> as I explained before, I shall be trying to complete the rest of the Cheektober videos and trying to do full-blown illustrations is definitely not the move. What? Oh. Oh, no, what? What just happened? Where, what layer is the sprinkle on? I have no idea what I just did with my layers, but to be quite frank, I'm not very concerned. Um, can it be brighter than that? There. Now let's sign it in white. You cannot see that. I can barely see that. I can't, I'm, I, it won't be possible for me to do like full blown thought out, well thought out illustrations in the time allotted, but you will get something of quality. That much is for certain, because I don't. Because while I may be quote unquote cutting corners with the fact that I'm doing it digitally, I will not be cutting corners on the ideas that I will be executing. I think I'm going to do it in this, the red. Oh no, you need, you need your texture. Alrighty, how long did that take me? A, a little, not 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes. And with that, oh, no. And with that, we are done with Cheektober. Rude. And with that, we are done with Cheektober day 13, I believe. Is it 13? Yeah, 13. Homemade cake. You got a story with it, which was a true story, by the way. I haven't really made any cake since this Fonfetti day because I'm not a cake person. I like pie. But are you a cake person or a pie person? Let me know. And if you are a cake or a pie person, what is your favorite cake and pie? And if you don't have a favorite, give me some, give me like a controversial opinion about cake or pie. <laughs> With that, I'll see you guys later. Bye.